Shifting to the Middle East now, Al Qaeda's affiliate in Yemen has threatened to kill an American hostage by the end of the week if their demands are not met. The group gave Washington three days to meet its demands, which were not disclosed. Sun Jung In has more. In a three-minute video posted by Al Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula on Thursday, the terror group's leader threatened to kill an American hostage, claiming the U.S. had committed crimes against the Muslim world. Nasser bin Ali Al Ansi gave the U.S. three days to meet unspecified demands that he said Washington was aware of. We give the American government a time frame of three days from the issuance of this statement to meet our demands, about which they are aware. Otherwise, the American hostage held by us will meet his inevitable fate. Soon after the statement, Luke Summers, a British-born American, appears in the footage pleading for the U.S. government to save his life. The 33-year-old photojournalist was kidnapped last September in the Yemeni capital Sana while working for the Yemen Times. My name is Luke Summers. It's now been well over a year since I was kidnapped in Sana. Basically, I'm looking for any help that can get me out of this situation. I'm certain that my life is in danger. The threat comes more than a week after a rescue attempt by the United States Yemeni mission freed eight hostages kidnapped by Al Qaeda's Yemen branch. During the joint operation, however, the military is known to have failed to locate other five hostages, including Mr. Summers. Sun Jung In, Arirang News.